Many triumphs and sacrifices distinguish the military service of the Navajo people. Perhaps most famous is the story of the Navajo Code Talkers. During World War II, these men ciphered thousands of battlefield messages, saving countless lives and helping end the war. In this interview, Lance Corporal Devin Bitta, a field radio operator here at Regimental Combat Team 2, speaks about his grandfather, Leroy Johns, a Navajo code talker during the island hopping campaign in the Pacific. Film radio operator, Navajo code talker, and he was in the Marine Corps also. Uh, he was a PFC. Uh, Leroy Johns Sr. was his name. And I don't remember him too much. This is very small. But, um, from what my my uh, uncles and aunts and siblings tell me, you know, he was different after he came back. He would get flashbacks, I guess that's what you would call it, and he would just, uh, lay on the lay on the ground, and uh, bring his hand up to his his ear. And it, it, it just, I guess, it became muscle memory to him. So many years later, but he still did it. When my our uncle told me this, you know, he said he was a little boy. And he said when they would be outside playing on the farm, my Che would say, don't go around the corner. There's little men there. And my uncle didn't know what he was talking about, but he still went around. And he also, he said that a lot. Going through what he went through, I, I can't imagine. And trying to just come back and be yourself again. And that's, that's as much as they told me. I almost went army, and you know, one day I was digging around in uh, my grandma's house, and I found one of the uh, presidential medals the Navajo Code Talkers got, and I seen it, and it's a famous picture, the famous Code Talker picture, and and I, and I remember my my Che was a, a Marine, and my older brother is a Marine too, and. I thought to myself, why should I change? You know, I've always grown up doing the best at everything, trying to be the best at everything, at least. And I figured why stop? So I joined. So I decided to join the Marines. It's a, it's an honor, and you know I always try to do my best because uh, the Navajos, you know, we have a strong history in the military for. for uh, what our elders did, the Navajo elders did. And I try not to, you know, as they were watching, I try not to upset them, you know, being out here. And I was trying to do my best. And you're gonna make mistakes, but it, it'd be something to, you know, if, if I could you know, watch what they did in that time of year. You know, out here, we have, we have it uh, pretty good. I said it's an honor. It's, it's, I can't really say anything. It's, it's just feel, it feels good, you know, knowing, knowing that my Che did something good for our people, uh, his name, and our, our family. And I, I respect him a lot, and I wish I was older to you know, talk to him. <laughs> 